Well, competition is set aside for a group of farmers in Wingate. Over the summer, Wingate resident and farmer Charles Dill was diagnosed with cancer. With harvest approaching, it became clear that Dill would uh, need some help with his more than 900 acres of soybeans. Adam Hall shows how more than 30 farmers came together to help a friend in need. It's kind of a tradition that farmers help a guy that's kind of down, having health issues. These guys figured out I might not be, I might be a little puny, so they decided to cut all my beans for me. When Chuck Dill was diagnosed with cancer, fellow farmers and friends stepped in to help harvest. Dave Swank is one of the farmers who helped. He says while farmers can be competitive at times, it's compassion that keeps them going. We all kind of pitch in for one another when, the, when, the need, when there's a need. Next farm comes up for rent, we're all going to compete against each other for it, but uh, we're all going to help each other out when somebody needs their help. It's very close. I mean, we get together every morning usually at Wingate, get mad at each other, cuss each other, leave, and then by the end of the week we're back to being friends and then if somebody gets hurt, they all go help. Swank says he knows what Dill is facing all too well. Four years ago, he was diagnosed with cancer, and Chuck Dill was there to help. It's my chance to pay back to Chuck for what he did for me earlier. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's a big relief on a guy's mind when he can get some people to come in like that and uh, basically help him put his livelihood in the bin. Dill says he's incredibly thankful. It's hard to find that many people that come together anymore for cause. Adam Hall, News Channel 18. Well, good luck to Mr. Dill. What a nice story that is. Good to see him out in the harvest. Too. Oh, yeah, and, and more rains on the way. That's the